Welcome back to the shrine. Um, today we're gonna be working on a set of pedals. As you can see, the stage is set. These are Crank Brothers Candy One pedals. As you can see, it's got um, a plastic construction, so the pedal's body itself is plastic. And then inside there, there's some kind of tube, and that is holding these uh, clips together. That's where the shoes with the cleats on the bottom can engage it and then basically uh, lock in in this space. So you can see one side of the pedal will accept the shoes and then the other side doesn't have anything so it's basically flat. Um, I purchased this about uh, two years ago. My wife used it. Uh, she put about 15,000 kilometers in them. So that's about 10,000 miles and uh, one day they just uh, failed on her. Basically the, the failure mode was that the shaft pulled out from the pedal. The shaft stayed in a crank arm and then the pedal basically just slid off. So uh, as you can see it's got an interesting uh, construction. Um, on this side there is a sleeve it's probably a, a plastic sleeve inside and then there's a retaining ring retaining that sleeve and uh, it's most likely some kind of you know Teflon um, coated or maybe made out of Teflon material and then on this side there is a uh, ball bearing and that's typically the failure mode. The ball bearing is going to get chewed up and it just comes out. Uh, so here's the ball bearing from the intact side. Uh, one of the pedals didn't fail but I pressed out the bearing. And uh, here's what left of the, uh, of the other bearing. I packed it up, put it in this baggage for my wife so she can uh, maybe hang it on a Christmas tree and admire her work. There's a lot of work put into this uh, bearing, namely um, tearing it up this way. So you can see there's the outside race, there's the inside race, some of the seals, there's uh, some of the rolling elements. Um, so overall we could salvage the parts of the bearing but the bearing didn't survive. So why is it happening? Uh, this is not a unique situation. How do I know that? Well, let me introduce you my collection of Crank Brothers pedals. This is what I collected over the years. I switched from Crank Brothers to uh, a different brand recently. And as you can see I was going uh, with the egg beaters so I have several pairs of these egg beaters. I believe these were the last ones that I removed uh, from the bike when I switched. My main problem was that the sides of the pedal wasn't holding my foot properly so my foot was able to um, roll or wobble on the pedal itself. So there's one pair. Uh, here's another pair. And you can see these are color coded. So the color coding defines how much you pay for them. Uh, so some of these have just standard, uh, you know, axle, and some of them have titanium parts or whatever. You know, they they can sell you. So there's one here. You can see it's got golden springs and these are forged. So they make uh, these in, uh, in many different formats. One of the failure modes in the past was this uh, spring broke on me. So as you can see right here the spring has a nice big radius and on the first models about 12 years ago they had a sharp corner and that's where typically the springs were breaking. And in that case I could send this back for a spa 
and uh, they replace the bearings and they replace the spring I'm not sure if they're doing it anymore so this is you can see a different construction so this the previous one has the forged um, arms and then this one has some kind of stem steel and you can see it's welded here so they have some kind of cylindrical part and it's welded but as you can see they fail in the same way so this one failed on me while I was uh, riding my bike on the trail and the typical failure mode is that this part just comes off and because this is locked to your cleat on your foot you know this will just stay on a cleat and as you can see this one inside uh, also has a uh, it's got uh, some kind of bushing and then on this side there's the bearing you can see the inner race of the bearing stays on the uh, axle with the nut here so there's a nut the inner race and then this whole thing just pulls out so there's one of them and uh, here's another one it's the same type of failure mode so this is pretty common I think the problem is that this bearing is uh, is undersized for for the job so uh, I'm not using these uh, these pedals anymore again I switch to a different style and I'm, I'm happy with that but you know this belongs to my wife and she likes them so my choice at this point was to get a kit uh, Crank Brothers sells a kit where you can you know take it apart it's got the seals and it has the bearings and it has the whole shebang and you can do it at home you know and uh, basically just replace the worn parts I don't think there's anything wrong with these uh, with these bushings uh, there is no um, play so when I put it together there's no play you know and then the shaft here you can see it's a ground shaft so it's not scored so I didn't want to spend uh, I, I think the, the kit cost forty dollars the new pedals cost fifty bucks and the kit cost forty dollars so I went ahead and ordered these bearings there's five of them and uh, it's from my local eBay store I'm pretty sure you have your local eBay store it's nine dollars and fifty cents ten seventeen with shipping and taxes and the size is six by thirteen by five millimeters again you can get five of these bearings uh, for that much so what we're gonna do is just uh, go ahead and install the bearings and put it all together call it a day so first of all we're gonna inspect these seals as you can see the seals are in good shape they are not torn and they are not uh, cracked you know some of these you know old parts can can easily crack here's the other one you can see that it's it's in pretty good shape and there's nothing nothing wrong about it so what I'm gonna do is uh, just put some of this royal purple performance grease on it and again we just need to add grease to this area here where the um, sleeve bearing is not much um, I'm pretty sure that the kit that they sell comes with their own grease but again this is just a, a sliding bearing so any good grease that you have at home should be fine for the purpose so again uh, this is the old bearing I'm gonna just pitch it and I'm gonna install uh, a new bearing 
into each of the paddles. So the bearing just goes in right there and uh, it doesn't need much force to install it. There you go. So the bearing is installed and seated. Here's the other one. It's, it's pretty much a slip fit condition and uh, just got to make sure that you're not pressing on the, on the seal because the seal can easily collapse in and then that's end of story so the shaft goes in like so okay and then we put the nut on and just tighten it So before you can tighten it, you need to put a wrench on this side. This, this side of wrench is eight, eight millimeters. So just tighten it up until you get solid stack. So the solid stack basically means that, you know, it, it doesn't want to go anymore. So you're going to have a solid stack between the bearing and the shoulder here. So the bearing the bearing is going to rest against the shoulder like so. So when you tighten the bolt here, that is going to create a solid stack, so don't over tighten it. You have a crown nut here. You can see with the nylock insert. So that's supposed to prevent loosening. So again, don't don't over tighten this. Just just go easy on it. And then the cap goes on and that's pretty much it obviously you know this is a plastic housing threaded and then you have a plastic cap how hard it is right to install it <laughs> just want to make sure that you don't cross thread it but after a couple minutes of trying it usually goes in easy. So that's it. You got a nice brand new pedal for yourself and you can uh, use it for the next 15,000 kilometers. Here's the other one. Again just grease this up and then that goes in like so through the bearing install the nut and that's it this can go back on the bicycle Look at that. I mean, how hard it is to install a plastic cap. And you can see some road rash on a pedal here. Probably the bike fall or she did a right turn too hard. So there you have it. How to fix a Crank Brothers candy pedal. Um, again, these bearings are 950 from your local eBay store, and the size is 6 by 13 by 5 millimeters. So the internal diameter is 6, the external is 13, and then the width is 5 millimeters. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video. Uh, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss my future videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.